Ghost. Not the one behind you, but I'm talking about one of the all-time favorite perks in Call of Duty, the Ghost perk. It has been made into its own plate carrier in DMC. This is the stealth vest. I have some issues saying that word, so please bear with me. In this video, I'm going to go through everything you need to know about the vest. Honestly, I thought this was going to be the most straightforward plate carrier deep dive video yet, because all the UAVs, except of course advanced, works the same way, right? Wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. They don't. This ended up being my biggest project yet. And I want to give a huge shout out to everyone that has been involved in making this video. Without those awesome guys I've met in game, it couldn't have been done. A lot of them went out their way to assist me making this video. Video. So be sure to watch to the end. I know this is going to be a more lengthy video, but I really wanted to be thorough. Before we carry on to the goods, please smack that like button and subscribe to my channel. If you are a new player, I'm gonna quickly go through the steps on how to get the stealth vest. First of all, you need to gather some items, those being two electrical components, one comic book and one game console. When you've looted all those items, go to the nearest buy station and in the buy station you'll see the barter and in the barter you'll find the stealth vest. Click on it and it will be equipped to you automatically. Now you have the vest, but what the hell does it do? The stealth plate carrier comes built in with the ghost perk, keeping you off enemy radars. Built for those times when keeping a low profile is essential to the mission. Just keep watching the video and you'll understand more. Alright, so without further ado, let's jump into the testing. Let's start with the UAV kill streak. In the first clip, my friend is using the stealth vest and we wanted to see if he appears on the UAV and what happens when he fires a suppressed weapon. Try to fire activity a weapon. Still so can't see. Open. Nope. So you don't appear on the UAV while using a stealth vest, even though you are firing a suppressed weapon. Now let's try without a suppressor. So if you just pick up that one. I'm just gonna... Requesting recon overhead. All right, so now you yeah, try to shoot your weapon. Yeah, now I can see you. Yeah, so you can't see people when they're using silencer. But you can see if they, they, they don't use a silencer, but they still are wearing the compress. Uh, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that's right. So n now I can't see you, but if you fire your weapon, uh, uh, yeah, now I see you. Okay. There you go. If you fire a weapon without a suppressor, you will appear on the UAV for a few seconds. Just to double check, here's another clip. Am I gonna stay alive? Yes, 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 yes. I can join after. I'm, I'm behind you. It's me. Hello. Put on that one. All right. Request and recon at my location. Copy that. UAV online and opting the AO. All right. Can you try to? Do you have a uh, suppressed weapon? Can you try to fire it? Ultra one active. All right, do you have a weapon with, which is not suppressed? Can you try to fire it? The next thing I wanted to check off the list is the comms vest. How does it work against a stealth vest on a UAV kill streak? Have a look. So what I need... All right. Requesting recon flyover! Copy, UAV is on station. Recon online. So as you can see, you are visible on a UAV, even though you are using the stealth vest, if an enemy operator is wearing the comms vest. That concludes the UAV kill streak. You do not appear on the UAV if you're using a stealth vest, unless you're firing a weapon which is not suppressed or an enemy operator is using the comms vest. Up next is the UAV towers and here is where it gets interesting. Just stand still first. Why the hell can I see you? You can see me on the stealth? Yeah. I can see you without the consist. What? 
Try to move further away. How far are you now? Like 13 meters? I can still see you. <laughs> no way, man. Yeah. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. As you might understand, I was pretty shocked when uh, this was the result. Even though I'm using a regular vest and my friend is using the stealth vest, he is visible on the UAV towers. But of course, I wanted to double check this. So have a look at this clip. Uh, just give me a second and I'll start the tower and I'll see if you appear. No, you don't. That's fucking weird, man. Last time I tried it, uh, it didn't work. It might because I was wearing the comms vest, or I, I had the comms vest in my backpack while, while I was testing it out. Maybe it bugged out or something, I don't know. I tried my theory with the comms vest being in my backpack, if that was the issue. You'll see it in the next clip that that's not it. I think what happened was my friend and I was on the same team when we infilled. During the match, my friend changed team and that might have bugged out the towers. But it was only the UAV towers. The regular UAV worked as it should. I have to say that this only happened once. Every time I've tried the UAV towers with randoms later, it seems to be working as it should. So the only time this happened was when I brought a teammate out and he changed team. I haven't been able to try this multiple times so I, I really don't know if that's the answer so please comment down below if you have some insight on this matter but if you change to another team during the match keep that in mind if you're using the stealth vest you might be visible on the UAV towers. In the next clip we are firing a suppressed weapon again but with an active UAV tower. Now I can't see you. Can you try to fire a weapon? Again? And now I see him. That's weird, man, because I've, I've tried that already, and, and the last time I tried it, uh, he, the guy didn't appear if he, he was using a suppressor. But, uh... And now I don't see you. But if you fire a weapon, I see you. Yeah, now I see you. But, um... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I see that. I see that. Uh, yeah, alright, so if you use a suppressed weapon in the UAV towers, you will be visible on the UAV, but if you use a suppressed weapon on the UAV killstreak, you won't be visible. Why? But of course I wanted to double check, so here's another clip. Wait, 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 don't shoot him. I just helped him, wait, wait. No, don't, don't shoot, wait. No, it's okay, it's okay. Okay, you can go. Okay, perfect, thanks. <laughs> uh, no worries, man. <laughs> Do you all of you have the stealth vest now? Yeah, if you... I guess, uh, I, I guess uh, all, all my teammates can make yeah. the stealth vest. Can you try to shoot the weapon? Okay, so I get you. Yeah. And, and you all of you have suppressor, right? I'm just gonna pop the UAV and if, if you can try to shoot your weapons and I'll see if uh, if I'll see you or not, okay? Requested recon at my location! Copy that, UAV online and orbiting the AO. Can you fire a weapon? Yeah, and now I can't see you. <laughs> it's fucking weird. So yeah, you see we get the same result. If this is made intentionally or not, I have no idea. I think it's weird that the UAVs act differently. I think that's more confusing for the player base, especially if they don't give us detailed information about how everything works. But what I find even more interesting is when I used the comms vest in this clip. Actual one, UAV is in orbit over your location. Now you're not visible on the uh, on the UAV tower. Can uh, one of you try to fire a weapon? Do you have a silencer? Yeah, uh, uh, one that is not one that is uh, is using the stealth vest. Can you try to fire it again? Okay. 
to see you appear if you have a if you don't have a silencer on. Uh, take my uh, take my weapon. Uh, all right. One, we're seeing enemy operators near your location. Yeah, you still appear on it when you're firing, even though you have the stealth vest. So there you have it. The comms vest do not work on people with stealth vest in the UAV towers and to be honest i think that's totally fine because the thing about the comms vest that you will still get the audio cue if players are using the stealth vest and if you are in the middle of the uav tower and you get the comps and you don't see anyone on the uav you know there's a player with a stealth vest and you have to be more careful since we are doing a stealth vest video even though i covered this in my comms vest video that you will get the audio cue when players are using the stealth Best. Just listen to this clip, you know. <laughs> Ultra One, we're seeing enemy operators near your location. Uh, enemies around, yeah. Yeah. So I still get the comps. So what I wanted to figure out is I want to just double check if uh, if uh, I still get the comps on people that are using the stealth vest. Up next is the advanced UAV. I'm just gonna play a couple of clips back to back. The first one I use a regular vest. The second one I use a comps vest. Both of the other guys are using the stealth vest. I just wanted to see if there were some differences. Request recon at my location! Copy, advanced UAV is on station. Yes, now, yeah, now, now you pop up like a regular dot on the advanced. Mm -hmm. Move to an extraction point. Requested recon at my location! Yeah, so you, you, you're like if I would have used a regular UAV, you know? You get like a, just a red yep. dot. Yeah. So yeah, it works the same way. The last thing I wanted to check was the radar. Ayo! Hello? Are you solo? Dude, I'm friendly. I need some help. I need some help. I'm not gonna shoot. I'm not gonna shoot. Alright. I'm going out of the car. Dude, I'm, I'm trying the stealth vest. I'm making a video. Could you help me? Can you just put on the stealth vest? I'm gonna try something really, really quick. Alright, nice. That's all I wanted to know. Do you want the stealth vest or do you want the medic vest? You can have a stealth vest if you want to. Yeah? Alright, thanks for the help, man. <laughs> hey! Hell yeah! Alright, so the, even though I'm use, even though I'm using the comms vest, the guys that are wearing the stealth vest is not uh, visible. Alright, so you do not appear on the radar even though you are using the comms vest. Another UAV I didn't get to try out was the radio, the AI drops when they get killed, but my friend FTS said that I did not appear when I was using the stealth vest when he activated one of those. I think they also work the same way as the radar. I'm gonna give you a bonus clip. I think there's a lot of people wondering what is the range of the UAV. So here's a clip of us trying to figure out the distance. I will pop UAV. Yeah. Enemy marked. I didn't get noticed. And uh, uh, now I see you actually. One two ninety. Yeah, I still see you at the two ninety. Now you're gone. Be advised, UAV is exiting the AO. Moving. Yeah. Moving here. Hey man. Enemy visual. I think it's uh, three hundred. Can we get the list with you, Techno? Be advised, nearby operators are requesting teammates. Hey! It's the nail on the line. It was hard to get a really accurate answer, but I'm pretty sure it's 300 meters, which is further than I expected. I thought it was around 200, maybe 250, but yeah, I think it's 300. 
it's way above 250 at least. All right, so that concludes the testing. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you got something out of watching the video. I just want to take a moment to thank everyone that has subscribed to my channel, been liking my videos, been commenting. The last few weeks has been mind blowing to me. I went from like 200 subscribers and now I'm almost at 1800. I got accepted to the YouTube partner program. It's been pretty wild to be honest. So I, I really do want to thank everyone that I really do want to thank everyone. It means a lot to me that you are enjoying my content. It motivates me to do even better. But like I said in the beginning of the video, this couldn't be made without all the help I got from random people I've met in game. So I've made a montage to pay respect to everyone who has helped me out making this video. And it wouldn't be a Mr. Neon's video without some PvP action, you know, hey, hey, hey. Remember to smack that like button, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you get notified whenever I upload. Now you can even become a member, so please consider it if you want to directly support the channel. Either way, I will update everyone on what's next. See you in the next video. Glad. Right. Okay. Yeah, thanks dude. But yeah, thanks for the help man. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> Alright, cheers mates. Okay, GG. Yeah, yeah, you too. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right, thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh, GG, guys. Hey, thanks for the help, man. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, boys. Thanks for the help, man. As uh, guys, there's what that was. Oh. That was a lifesaver. Damn, uh, <laughs> get the fuck out of my game! <laughs>